This story begins with a simple but vital question. How can we heat our homes more efficiently without breaking the bank? As winter approaches, heat pumps are often seen as a sustainable alternative to gas boilers. But just how efficient can they get? Meet Adam Chapman, a man who cracked the code on heat pump performance. His system has peaked at an incredible 900% efficiency. What's his secret? It's not just the pump, it's the entire system. Let's dive into the genius of heat pumps, efficiency, and how the right approach can change everything. Heat Pumps and Efficiency Basics A heat pump is a device that transfers heat from one place to another, rather than creating it from scratch. In heating mode, it pulled total, it pulls warmth from the outside air, even when it's freezing, and moves it inside to heat your home. Even at temperatures well below freezing, the air still contains thermal energy, and the heat pump's refrigerant absorbs this heat, turning it into gas, which is then transferred indoors. This method of heat transfer is why heat pumps can achieve efficiencies greater than 100%. The efficiency of a heat pump is measured by its coefficient of performance, COP, which tells you how much heat the system delivers compared to the electricity it consumes. For example, a COP of 3 means the pump provides three times as much heat as the electricity it uses. However, there's another important metric called EQP, or Seasonal Coefficient of Performance, which takes into account seasonal temperature fluctuations. SCOP averages the COP throughout the year, reflecting real-world performance. Depending on factors like the type of heat pump and installation, SCOP can range from 2.5 to 5.5, making heat pumps significantly more efficient than traditional gas boilers. The Role of the Heat Pump's Installation When it comes to heat pump efficiency, installation plays a critical role. A top-tier heat pump can only perform as well as its installation allows. Without proper installation, even the best systems will underperform. Adam Chapman points out that the way the system is set up and how it's used can drastically impact the efficiency you get out of it. For example, using a heat pump for short bursts of high heat is not the best approach. A more effective strategy is to run the system slowly and steadily over longer periods. Think of it like driving a car. Two cars might cover the same distance, but one speeds up and slows down, while the other drives at a consistent, moderate speed. The latter uses less fuel. Similarly, a well-installed heat pump that runs consistently at lower temperatures over time uses less energy than one that's constantly turning off and on. Optimizing System Efficiency Achieving the highest efficiency in a heat pump system goes beyond the equipment itself. It's about how the system is designed and how well it works with the rest of the heating infrastructure in your home. Adam Chapman explains that a well-functioning system needs to be viewed as a whole, from the heat pump to the radiators and the way the system is balanced. The goal is to keep the temperature steady without unnecessary spikes in energy usage. One of the first steps in improving efficiency is controlling the flow of heat. A steady, gradual heat distribution is far better than a system that heats in sharp bursts. For example, a heat pump that runs at a constant, moderate temperature throughout the day will consume less energy than one that tries to quickly heat up a space. The efficiency also depends on the way energy is used. Adam likens it to driving a car at 30 mAh instead of 90 mAh. Although it takes the same amount of time to reach the destination, the steady pace uses far less energy. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Piping and Valves – Impact on Efficiency The materials and layout of the piping in a heat pump system are essential to achieving peak efficiency. Adam Chapman emphasizes that using high-quality materials for the pipes, such as copper, is crucial for reducing energy loss. Copper pipes have a larger internal diameter and smoother bends compared to plastic alternatives, which means the water flows more easily, reducing resistance and the work required from the heat pump. This results in less energy being consumed to circulate water through the system. When it comes to valves and fittings, the key is to ensure minimal disruption in water flow. Plastic piping often requires inserts in the fittings, which can cause additional resistance and reduce overall system performance. On the other hand, copper pipes with larger diameters and smooth, gentle bends allow for more efficient water movement, making it easier for the pump to circulate heat throughout the system. 
Another factor to consider is how well the system is balanced. If the heat distribution isn't properly balanced between radiators, some parts of the system may end up wasting energy, while others aren't receiving enough heat. Proper balancing, along with choosing the right materials and reducing flow resistance, can significantly increase the overall efficiency of the system, pushing the SCOP into higher ranges. The Magic Behind Heat Pump Systems While a quality heat pump and proper installation are essential, the real magic behind high-efficiency systems lies in how all the components work together. Adam Chapman describes this as a systems thinking approach where the entire setup from the heat pump to the pipes and radiators is optimized for maximum efficiency. This isn't just about having the best equipment, it's about ensuring every part of the system works in harmony. The trick is to manage the heat flow as efficiently as possible, and that's where small adjustments make a huge difference. For example, ensuring the system has the right balance, that the pipes are optimized for smooth water flow, and that the radiators are sized properly to handle the heat are all critical components. The system's efficiency increases significantly when each of these elements is considered and optimized. While this may sound like a lot of work, these techniques are simple enough for most engineers to implement. By combining high-quality materials, proper system balance, and careful design, heat pumps can reach impressive levels of efficiency with SCOP values pushing up into the 5.5 range and beyond. Weather Compensation and Control One of the most effective ways to optimize a heat pump's performance is through weather compensation and modulating controls. Traditional systems use on-off controls, meaning the system operates at full power until the desired temperature is reached, then shuts off. When the temperature drops slightly, the system turns back on to heat up again. This back-and-forth cycle not only wastes energy, but also causes the system to work harder than necessary. Weather compensation, on the other hand, allows the system to adjust more gradually. Instead of turning off completely when the target temperature is reached, a modulating system uses sensors to monitor both indoor and outdoor temperatures, making small adjustments to the heating output. If the outdoor temperature drops quickly, the system will preemptively boost the heat, ensuring a smooth transition without large temperature fluctuations indoors. This proactive approach prevents the system from overcompensating and running inefficiently. It also eliminates the need for the system to cycle on and off, which improves overall energy use. By integrating weather compensation, the efficiency of the heat pump increases, raising the SCOP from 3.7 to 4.0. In addition, it reduces energy waste and maintains a consistent indoor temperature, which is much more comfortable and cost-effective. Optimizing Hot Water Storage Often overlooked, the management of hot water storage can have a significant impact on overall heat pump efficiency. While heat pumps are primarily used for space heating, how hot water is stored and used can affect the system's performance. Many systems operate on the assumption that hot water storage is inherently inefficient. However, Adam Chapman reveals that when managed properly, hot water storage can enhance system efficiency. For example, larger water tanks that store hot water at lower temperatures require less energy to maintain. By using a larger tank, you can store enough hot water for daily use at a lower, more energy-efficient temperature. This avoids the need for constant reheating, which can drain energy. In addition, larger storage at lower temperatures minimizes heat loss, making the overall system more efficient. This approach contrasts with smaller tanks that must maintain higher temperatures to ensure hot water availability, which increases energy consumption. By optimizing storage, heat pump systems can improve their overall performance and contribute to higher SCOP values, ultimately driving the system's efficiency to greater heights. Sizing and Sizing Tools Correctly sizing the heat pump and its components is crucial for achieving maximum efficiency. HeatGeek has developed a tool that accurately calculates the heat loss in a home, ensuring precise sizing of the heat pump and radiators. If the system is too large or too small, it operates inefficiently, wasting energy and increasing costs. The tool uses a virtual model of the home, considering factors like room size and heat loss 
to determine the most efficient configuration. By selecting the right size for the heat pump and radiators, the system can run at lower temperatures, reducing energy consumption and enhancing performance. When combined with strategies such as proper installation, weather compensation, optimized piping, and effective hot water storage, this approach boosts overall system efficiency. It can push SCOP levels to over 5.5, significantly increasing performance. Achieving this level of efficiency isn't just about the technology itself, it's about understanding how every component works together. Proper sizing and careful installation are key to getting the most out of your system and reducing energy waste.